what's happening guys is myself profusion the last video we managed to do is get the basil key from there but there's nothing more that we could find but thank you so much for joining in so this is the crash site that's within the clock tower i'm oh my god i am pretty sure that the whole thing is literally a train wreck now Oh my goodness. I don't think we can get past there. I don't think there's anything here that we could find. All of that for the key and that's about it. Who the freaking hell's that? How did these guys absolutely find me? Right, how about some acid bounds? I tell you, these guys don't even know when to stop. They are massive stalkers, they are. Okay, so we managed to get the... We got what we needed anyways. So it's time for us to unlock the other door then. Oh, goddamn spiders, eh? Right, I'm sure there is another door that we have to unlock with them. Um Windy key. I'll tell you what, I actually find this game so much confusing. Well, all of that is uh, opening the lock, and that's about it. Well, if you like the video, if you find these helpful, feel free to smash them likes and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. The God of Time is etched under the keyhole. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to go up the stairs then and see what we have to do then, so. This is more like a clock house. What? You know. Ah, oh, come on, you freaking big jerk. <laughs> now, how could I just miss that one? What a waste. What an absolute waste. Oh my goodness. Man needs to bust that one into cornflakes now. Oh. 
Okay, what's this? Right, there's a keyhole on the on metal copper plate. Would you use the basil key? Yeah, so basically, oh, we'll just go up the ladder and see what's up there. If I'm a little bit quiet on this game, I do excuse because I am so much enjoying this at the same time. So what do we get from here? The silver gear. Right guys, I've got to say I've worked out an easier way to solve this puzzle out and this is one of the hardest ones in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis so I'm going to show you my way of doing it but it's about using your ears and listening out for the chords on this one on this music box so we've got to operate the switches if you listen to this so this is the order that it should be played in So what I will do is I'll uh, play switch A because if I, I've got it set to the up position. So it plays the first part of the melody and if we go on to switch B this is set on to the up position. So we want to bring this one down. Yep, yeah, so that one's right and then we go on to the next one we go on to C and then we and the switch is set to down no so we want to bring this one up and then we go on to switch D see what I mean it plays parts of the melody parts of the tune so D is set onto up And then uh, we switch over to switch E. So this one is set up to up. So we want to bring this one down. And then at last but not least, we want to move over to switch E. Not switch E, switch F. Okay, sorry, it's my eyesight. But anyways, I'm going to play this. It's set to the down position. So we want to move this one up. Right, so hopefully I've got this right and I've actually worked this out myself about locking up, up anything on the internet. So I've actually used my head for a change. So I've done it the old-fashioned way, just worked it out what I needed to play, so we'll see if this works. Oh my god, am I clever or what? How oh, the freaking hell did I work that out without using any online guides? I just don't know. Right. Chrono's chain. We're gonna take it. So we've got what we're looking for, and then we've got to check it and see what's what. A chain made to adore the god of time. There's a small screw hole near the ornament. Yeah, so the only way to get it undone is to use a screwdriver. Some sort of screwdriver or a lever to get it unlocked. But guys, uh, this was a useful guide anyway, so thank you all so much for joining in. And I'm going to see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.